What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over my settings for season 4. I've had a surprising amount of people ask me to make an updated settings video for the season so I thought I would go over it but not much has changed since the last settings video. As always if you guys do find this video helpful or informative remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more and comment down below. Uh, if you play Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, keyboard or like Switch controller comment that, like what input you play down in the comments below and before we get into that before we get into the settings, just going to briefly talk about my controller because I use an AIM controller and I am sponsored by AIM. So you can use code EvolveJake for a discount. There will be a link down in the description where you can check them out. And for the month of October, my code is $60 off. So it's a pretty significant discount if you are thinking about getting like an upgraded controller. Um, $60 off is a pretty large discount. And AIM is the only company that offers lifetime warranty on the parts of the controller they modify. So I definitely think, you know, that's, that's one of the reasons why I partnered with them when the offer was there was because of that warranty. I also do use a control freak on the right stick. I've used control freaks for a long time. I am not sponsored by them, but I've used them since like 2011. Control freak, if you're watching this, I, I would love to be sponsored by you, but let's get right into it. So for starters, let's, where's this at? Okay. Most of this is pretty standard. I get asked about colorblind a lot, like more often than you would think. I don't use a colorblind setting at all. All of its default brightness is 100%. Um, I do play on PC with PS5 controller, as I just showed, and I do use performance mode. I use view distance medium and meshes high. Low meshes make the game run as good as possible, but personally, I don't like low meshes. Um, V-Sync off, show FPS on, and then rendering mode is performance, like I just said. Toggle sprint is on i guess i think this is a different setting than what i was thinking of um but yeah i use toggle sprint i use auto open doors mantle activation i have his hold jump hold the swap pickup i don't have this on it's a good setting in theory but i've heard that it makes um it can add a brief delay when you're picking up items like when you go to 50 50 a chest or something like that toggle targeting off mark danger when targeting i don't have that off or i have that off auto pick up weapons i have that off the preferred item slots i've changed this up a decent amount this season because in the past i had it as shotgun slot one smg slot two consumable three utility four and then ar five but with the meta this season i've been using a dmr in slot five and then in slot two i've been using the evo chrome burst um and when i had it as ar slot five it was being annoying so i just put shotgun slot one really the only thing that matters is if your controller having preferred a shotgun slot one is really beneficial because the act of taking walls like going pickaxe builds and then back to gun defaults you to slot one even if you were on slot four when you started doing that once you take the wall and pull out your gun you'll be on slot one so that's why it's important to have a uh, shotgun in slot one and then everything else just kind of gets arranged around that um auto sort consumables to the right i have that on but it doesn't really matter because i have the other stuff set on um reset building choice i have it on this makes it to where when you open your blueprints you'll always be on walls disable pre-edits i have this on but i should probably turn it off i think jerian made a video showing that having this on adds some delay to your editing sometimes it can make it to where it doesn't register when you hit the button but i just haven't changed it yet because i haven't felt like getting used to it turbo building i have on confirm edit on release i have off this can be a good setting but i was used to double edit keybinds before they added this and this is I, I feel like confirm it on release is mainly there for people who don't want to get used to double edit key binds or it just makes some aspects of setting up your binds easier but i was already used to double edit binds before they added this so it just wasn't really that big of a deal to me um and i don't think any of this other stuff matters oh yeah tap to search interact you definitely want this on it makes it to where you don't have to hold the button the entire time you're opening chests and i think that is that don't think anything on here matters um, I don't use dry row aiming mouse and keyboard. I don't use all right So now we're into the controller setting controller auto run. I have this off This makes it to where you run automatically sometimes and I don't like that builder pro we have on obviously or build immediately We have on just this reduces the delay when you're trying to build edit hold time I have as low as possible slide hold time I basically you want this as low as possible where you're not accidentally sliding and then for some reason I ended up on this This reset camera stuff. I don't know what this is vibration. I think you definitely want off if you're playing on controller Sure, it can be nice for some immersion aspects of games, but if you're playing this multiplayer shooter and you your goal is to do well, which odds are if you're watching this channel, your goal is to do well, there's really not much of a purpose in having vibration on, especially when using some of the semi-automatic weapons or just any weapon in general. Having the controller shake while you're fighting people doesn't really benefit you at all. Um, build mode 2.2, edit 1.9, use advanced controls on, 
looking horizontal i have at 42 42 some people like to have a lower vertical than horizontal i think and i just i don't know i never did that I, i've always just used the same horizontal and vertical if that's something you enjoy doing that's fine none of these boosts i don't like having the boosts on 12 percent ads <clears throat> ads turning boost ramp time even though i have these at zero it has been said that having this at 0 0.20 increases aim assist not really sure if that's clickbait or just made up, but I, I put it on there. It felt better to me. It was probably placebo, but I've just put on point twenty, and haven't changed it since. Look dampening time. You want this as low as possible. You do not want the look dampening time. Same with the boosts. It just... I feel like having the boosts on and the look dampening time just goes to make your aim more inconsistent because it just changes how your sensitivity feels in a given fight. And I just want my sensitivity to feel as consistent as possible. That way I can perform as consistent as possible. I use linear instead of expo. There are countless videos out there, but I feel like Linear is much better for building and editing. There's good players that play on Expo for sure, but I've just played on Linear for a long time and I like it. Aim Assist 100%. Dead Zones, you want these as low as possible where you're not getting stick drift. This really depends on the controller. The amount of people I have ask me about Dead Zones blows my mind. Basically what Dead Zones are is how much you move the analog stick before the game starts to register input in game. And the reason why this is there because if you've ever had a controller that has stick drift, that's why it's there. So you want these as low as possible to the point where you're not getting stick drift. And that is going to change controller to controller just because like the individual use of controllers causes wear and tear. And that's what ends up with you getting stick drift. Enable foot controller I have off. Um, accelerate thumbstick I have on. And then steer tank with game camera on. Okay, cool. Um, audio. Main music is zero. Sound effect 77. Sound quality I have high. 3D headphones I have on. And then I don't think any of this matters really. I don't use visual sound effects, but this is a good setting for some people. I just personally have never liked it, and I feel like I'm pretty good at using audio to my advantage in-game. Um, keyboard controls shouldn't matter, but it kind of does because I have reset building edit as mouse wheel down, and then I think I also have confirm edit as mouse wheel down. Whoever that is. I'm confused. Um, I guess it's just, it's a ton. I don't, I don't know how keyboard controls work. Either way, I have a scroll wheel for scroll wheel reset on controller. As you can see on there, I've made a video of it on in the past, but it's basically just something you can buy and it gets you scroll wheel reset on controller. And that is why I have reset building as scroll wheel down. I also have slot one as scroll wheel up. So in theory, I could hit it and then get to, um, What's it called? My slot one, but I just don't do that personally. Okay. Sorry, I was confused there. Now, for my actual keybinds, I play claw. So my index finger is on triangle, circle, X, and square at all times. So I can hit those without taking my thumbs off the analog stick. I use right stick crouch, left stick pickaxe. Sprint, I have on the D-pad, but I use a paddle for that. I don't actually hit the D-pad. I use this paddle for sprint. And that's actually the only paddle I use. I put these on to show you guys what the paddles look like on this controller because that is one of the nice benefits of aim controllers is that you have paddles. That way you can hit those buttons without taking your thumbs off the analog stick. And in theory, you can do those actions while still aiming. That's the big thing. You want your thumb on right stick at all times so you can aim and you want your other thumb on left stick at all times so you can move your character. And the more buttons you have to take your thumbs off the analog stick for, the less likely it is you can do those actions while fighting. But I have pretty standard binds because I play claw and I've played claw for a really long time. Um, I don't I don't think there's anything too odd here editing. I have left trigger confirm right stick reset But like I said, I use scroll wheel reset and I think that's basically it um, But that is gonna be it for my settings if you guys found this video helpful or informative like I said give it a like comment down below Which input you play and if you do want to use my code for $60 off an aim controller That is the deal for the month of October is it isn't always $60 off but for the month of October Evolve Jake is $60 off on aim controllers. There will be a link down in the description. We can check them out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.